Google just dropped something massive. On October 9th, 2025, Gemini Enterprise was announced, marking the new front door for AI in the workplace. And honestly, it's about damn time. We've all been jumping from AI tool to tool constantly. A little chat GPT here, a little Claude there, as well as using some random startup tool in between. It's easy to spot the problem here. And that's the fact you're constantly switching between tools, switching contexts, and as a result, losing your original thought. Thankfully, Google saw this mess for what it is and said, enough. Gemini Enterprise isn't just a new arbitrary AI chatbot. Oh no, it's a complete platform that connects everything into one ecosystem. Your documents, your data, your apps, your entire workflow, all in one place. So it's time to ask the question, you see, Gemini Enterprise is built on six core components working together seamlessly. First in line are Google's latest Gemini models, which power everything. Second is the no-code workbench, which basically means that anyone can build AI agents. You can easily make your own marketing team, finance department, and no coding is required. Third are pre-built agents, such as deep research or data science agents, for example. You don't start from zero. You start with a toolbox that's already full. Fourth component is the fact that it connects to everything. Google Workspace, Microsoft 365, Salesforce, SAP, and others, all under one wing, allowing the AI to easily access your company's data wherever it resides. Fifth up is the governance framework, meaning that you can visualize, secure, and audit your agents from one central place. And sixth, openness. Google built Gemini Enterprise not with a small team, but with over 100,000 partners. Not only are you not locked in, your experience is based on choice. But how does this translate to the real world? What we'll talk about now are not just demos, they're real results, sampled from the real world. You see, according to Google Cloud CEO Thomas Curian, 65% of their customers are already using AI products. However, they're struggling to make it all work together, which is where Gemini Enterprise jumps in, filling the gap perfectly. As a result, many companies and individuals use it. Let's start with Banco BV in Brazil. The relationship managers used to spend hours doing analytics manually, and now with Gemini Enterprise, it's completely automated. On the other side, Harvey is building AI for legal services. Fortune 500 legal teams trust them, and the key is, they're all powered by Gemini. Lawyers are using this for contract analysis, due diligence, compliance, thus saving hours of time. Another interesting appearance comes from Mercedes-Benz, which is building cars that talk to drivers using, you guessed it, Gemini. This allows for natural conversations and personalized answers. These are just a few. However, none of this would be possible if not for the no-code programming system that allows ease of usage for all people. Ah, the good old smell of the democratization of AI development. With Gemini Enterprise's no-code workbench, anyone can build agents. Imagine you're, for example, building a marketing manager. You need to launch a new product campaign, which would normally take days. However, with Gemini Enterprise, you'll simply describe what you need. The agent will easily understand your product details because it's connected to your company's data and it has access to all your approved creative assets. Or you imagine you're in finance. You need to analyze spending patterns across departments. This would usually take hours at least or days at best. Nowadays, you just simply ask the agent and it pulls the data. Then it analyzes patterns and creates visualizations. And this is all for those of us that like to experiment and do stuff their own way. If you don't want to build from scratch, there are many pre-built Google agents and thousands of vetted agents from the partner ecosystem available in the agent marketplace. Companies like Morrison, Vodafone, and Walmart are already using the data science agent to accelerate workflows, automating data wrangling, and finding patterns instantly. This is powerful stuff. Like it or not, your company's most valuable information is trapped, scattered across spreadsheets and acres of paperwork, buried in emails or lost in chat threads. This is what we call the data silo problem. Gemini Enterprise solves this by connecting everything together. 
It integrates with Google Workspace, Microsoft 365, Salesforce, SAP, all your business applications. But it's not just connecting, because it's also building context. It's understanding relationships between information, seeing patterns across systems. The integration of Microsoft 365 is also extremely smart. Google didn't just build a walled garden. Instead, focusing on Gemini Enterprises to work seamlessly in Microsoft 365 and SharePoint environments. Now, when you combine Gemini Enterprise with Google Workspace, something special happens. You get multimodal agents built right into the apps you already use. Google Vids is wild. You can literally transform your presentation into an engaging video, complete with an AI-generated script and voiceover. And if you think this is still way too experimental, 2.5 million people use this every month and are absolutely astonished by it. Google Meet now has real-time speech translation, which captures your natural tone and expression. As a result, it makes conversation seamless regardless of language. Figma, on the other hand, is using Gemini's Flash 2.5 image model, helping users create high-quality, brand-approved images with just a simple prompt. Klarna is using Gemini and Veo to create bespoke lookbooks, and because of it, they're seeing a 50% increase in orders. These multimodal capabilities are undeniably game-changing, but what is even more astonishing is the completely new AI foundation that Google is building through Enterprise. So Google is building the foundation for an entirely new agent economy. In the future, agents will communicate with each other and transact with each other. Google has worked with the industry to create the agent-to-agent -agent protocol, which sets the standard for how agents communicate. However, for agents to be truly autonomous, they need to handle payments, which is why Google announced the Agent Payments Protocol. This is a secure, auditable way for agents to complete transactions autonomously. Google developed this with over 100 payment and technology partners, such as American Express, Coinbase, Intuit, MasterCard, PayPal, ServiceNow, Salesforce, and many others. There's definitely a marketplace emerging here, and developers are building specialized agents to market them and earn additional dough from them. This ecosystem approach is undeniably smart, because Google knows that they can't build everything. What they can do is allow others to build on their foundation then get money from it, sort of like how rep works. Now, as complicated and unachievable as this sounds, we have to say it couldn't be further from the truth. Take Gemini CLI, for example. It launched just three months ago, and already over one million developers are using it. And that, honestly, is incredible adoption. Google also introduced Gemini CLI Extensions, which is a framework to customize your command line AI. There's a growing ecosystem from Atlassian, GitLab, MongoDB, Postman, Shopify, and Stripe. Google is also launching new programs, and Google Skills is their new platform, and it'll be available for free. They're also announcing the Gemini Enterprise Agent Ready Program, which is an educational sprint to empower 1 million developers to build and deploy agents. All in all, Google is investing heavily in education, because AI is only transformative if people know how to use it. However, Google isn't alone, and truth be told, they have fierce competition. Microsoft has Copilot, OpenAI has ChatGPT Enterprise, and Thropic has Claude for work, all of which rival Gemini Enterprise more than adequately. But Google has some big advantages. First, the Gemini models are extremely powerful. They're multimodal from the ground up, being capable of handling text, images, video, and voice natively. Next up is Google's infrastructure, which is, frankly, unmatched. The integration with Google Workspace also gives them a massive installed base, because billions of people already use Gmail, Docs, Sheets, and Meet. Furthermore, their open ecosystem approach is smart, because unlike almost everyone else, they're not trying to own everything. They're enabling partners and building standards. And honestly, amongst every other companies, Microsoft is formidable competition. However, Microsoft's approach feels more closed, and Google is betting that openness wins long term. OpenAI, on the other hand, has brand recognition. They were the first to come up with an actual workable AI. However, despite this, Google's play is comprehensive. They're trying to be the complete AI platform for business, and honestly, 
I think they have a real shot at pulling it off. However, there is a pressing question to be made, and that is what this means for work. We're watching both work fundamentally change, and it's happening fast. In five years, most knowledge workers will have AI handling significant portions of their workload, not replacing them, augmenting them, freeing them for higher value work. What we're seeing now is the death of busy work, summarizing documents, scheduling meetings, pulling data, creating first drafts, all automated. So what's left? Well, strategy, creativity, relationship building, complex problem solving, basically only the uniquely human stuff. And here's what I find exciting. This democratizes capabilities that were previously only available to the big companies. As a result, small businesses with 20 people can now have AI capabilities that rival what only Fortune 500 companies had a few years ago. Therefore, the data science agent means you don't need a team of data scientists. The customer engagement agents mean you don't need a massive call center. And this levels the playing field. And honestly, I'm genuinely impressed with what Google built here. This is an incremental improvement, but a comprehensive vision for how AI transforms business. Honestly, I think Google timed this perfectly. The market is ready, and some companies want platforms that actually work and integrate with existing tools. Also, what I know is this. The age of disconnected AI tools is over. The future is integrated. More intelligent and more compact platforms that understand your entire business context. The AI revolution in the workplace isn't coming. It's already here. And Google just kicked it into high gear. This is Mickey V. Have a great day.